In this lesson, I want to cover the actions you need to take in case you receive a potentially fraudulent order. Now, firstly, you will see this little error message that says your order might be fraudulent. So you can click on the order. And if you scroll down, you will see the fraud analysis. Now, if the fraud analysis is medium, you can do a little bit more of investigation. However, if the fraud analysis is high, I do recommend to refund the customer right away. So in order to refund a customer, we can just scroll back up and you can simply click on refund. You can select all of the items to refund the customer and simply click on refund. Now, like I say, this is only in the instance that the fraud analysis is high. And the reason you don't want to deal with high fraud analysis is because it has a much higher chance of ending up in a chargeback and a chargeback basically just means that somebody has contacted their bank because they do not recognize a transaction on their bank statement. And usually the bank will always side with the customer. And that means they will force you to refund that customer and also charge you the fees to deal with this, which is usually around 10 pounds or 10 to $15. It can vary between countries and between banks. So that's what you need to do if the fraud analysis is high. However, if the fraud analysis is medium, you can do some further investigation. So we are going to click back and we will just leave this page and we can scroll down. And as you can see for this particular product, the fraud analysis is medium. So then you can click on this eye icon to click on view details. So as you can see, it says some characteristics of this order are similar to fraudulent orders observed in the past. And the main one is that the location of the IP address that was used to place the order is different to the billing and shipping address. Now, in a lot of cases, when this is the instance, it turns out to be totally fine. The customer might have just been at work when they placed the order to their home address, or they might have been out at the gym or something like that. So as you can see, it says here, shipping address is 11 miles away. So it's not really, really far. They could have been at work. They could have been at the gym or they could have been at a friend's and family's house because it isn't totally far away. However, if you are worried about a chargeback, you can always follow up with the customer. So we can close this. You can click on contact buyer and then you can contact the customer. So you can just say something like this. Dear customer, we hope this email finds you well. Thank you for shopping with us at your store's name. We are reaching out to confirm your recent order and then you can put in the order number. As part of our commitment to ensuring the security and safety of all transactions, we noticed that the location from which you placed your order is different from the billing and shipping address. To proceed with your order, we kindly ask you to confirm the details and verify that everything is correct and valid. Then I have just gone and said, please review the following details of your order. You can then go and put in the billing and shipping address of the customer. Then you can say, if all information is accurate and you have authorized this purchase, please reply to this email to confirm. If there are any discrepancies or if you did not place this order, please let us know as soon as possible so we can take the appropriate action. Your prompt response will help us to process your order without further delay. We appreciate your cooperation and understanding in this matter. Thank you for your attention and we look forward to your response. Best regards. And then you can just put in your information as a customer service assistant, your store's name, your store's email and your store's website. And then you can just scroll down, click on review email. And if you are happy with your email, just click on send email. Now I will leave this script in the lesson notes below so you can simply copy and paste this if you do want to send a similar email. So I'm just going to click on send email. Once the email has been sent, the customer should contact you back. If they confirm that they did make this order, you can simply then go and fulfill the order. And if they say that they didn't make the order, you can simply go and refund them. 